Hey guys, this is Dr. Colin Zou, aka The Chef Doc, and we are here in Denver, Colorado, in American Lifestyle Medicine 2023. I'm joined by these lovely gals. So, so stoked. Guys, why come to Lifestyle Medicine now? Why now as opposed to others? Now, the time is now. We have to redirect this health crisis, and we got to get together with amazing people like this to do it. What is the crisis? And Indulge us. What is the crisis right now? Oh, that is sad to hear you asking for a question so important. You know, chronic disease is invading, obesity, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes. We really have to do something, and we know that lifestyle medicine can make the difference. We've been coming to this conference for 10 years yep. and seeing how Ten this years. has <laughs> grown and the interest in it. And it's, it's of interest because it works and people are looking for solutions to the problems that we aren't solving with the traditional way that we've been doing it. Awesome. And so what is your individual contributions to lifestyle medicine? I'll hopefully bring a little bit of energy, a little bit of inspiration, <laughs> a little bit of power. A little so sass, a little sass. Do it. A little bit of sass. <laughs> a little bit of spice. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It has to be fun. And you got to bring fun to it. And you know that's uniting. And we all want to do it together. That's what it's all about. Awesome. <laughs> Go to her next. I'll think about that one. For but, a you know, we, we got to, you know, show the example. So I think that personally, I've always been pretty active and I like and people to be able to see what I'm doing and encourage them to do the same. So that's one of the biggest things besides eating healthy. But for me, exercise is really something that I put the emphasis on. Exercise. And you're a cyclist, I heard. Oh, or seen. I used to be a runner, but now more cycling. It's better for the aging. And so, <laughs> yes. but a biking, very to stay healthy. That's a good thing. What, what is the average mileage you do? Oh, no, I, I'm not anymore into the high mileage. I really do it to allow me to travel. More recently, I was in Italy. So every year, plan for a trip. And it's really what motivates me to stay healthy. Cheryl? All right. So I've been thinking about that so much of this was just in my head and it really needs to get out into the world. And there are many, many ways to do that. But the engagement of our community, I think, is one of the best ways to do that. And getting, you do an incredible job. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but getting out in the places where people live, work, play. Well, I think that sounds familiar, right? Hey, uh, getting out on it. our bikes. Um, but meeting people where they are and asking yeah. them what they need and how lifestyle medicine can provide that. Awesome. And what do you hope to see in the three to five years, if we're still alive in three to five years, what do you hope to see lifestyle medicine can do for the public, the community, the planet? Yeah, I hope the healthy option becomes the easy, accessible option, regardless of zip code, regardless of who you are, where you live. But that should be the natural default. And you'd have to need to strive to go outside of that. So therefore, we'll redirect our health crisis and we'll all be united in healthy decisions. Excellent. So this year is very special. So I'm in Vermont, and this year we have 27 healthcare provider present. So can just imagine in five years what we can do in a small state like Vermont. So this is fantastic. 27 lifestyle, uh, lifestyle report. Oh, present in the conference. Yeah. yeah. So that's very important. So they're all here to learn. I've been doing that with Cheryl for over 10 years. Now we have all these providers from Vermont, so we can have a huge impact in a small community and small state. Awesome. Dr. Cheryl? And lifestyle medicine is, I think, the way to save the world, right? And if you think about the impacts that we have on our patients and our clients by counseling individuals, you know, one at a time, each of those individual changes does help contribute towards the greater good. And the more that we can move that needle, we're going to save the planet. Awesome. So ready? One, two, three, lifestyle medicine. One, two, three, lifestyle, lifestyle medicine. medicine. Yeah. <laughs>